So last week we showed you these incredible images after lobsterman Cameron Pease pulled up his gear off the coast of Cushing and found a military rocket, possibly from the World War II or Korean War era, stuck on the line. Police say he put it in the back of his truck and members of the state police bomb squad met him the next day. Through an x-ray scan, the troopers determined that the explosive was still potentially active, so they carefully brought it out into a field, put their own charge on it, and detonated it. Trooper Patrick Pescatelli commands the five-member state police bomb squad. He says this was an unusual case. Even among the 100 or so explosives calls they've answered over the past year. Kind of pulled up a five and a half foot rocket in his in his lobster trap, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, <laughs> where's that now? And so, yeah, he's got in the back of his pickup truck, and I'm like, well, that's that's kind of an issue. <laughs> let's let's tell him to park that thing, and um, we don't really want that driving around town. <laughs> he, he worked the case along with Trooper Keith Barton, the one who straddled the rocket to place the charge on it. Barton said his wife had some questions about that assignment. She was like, wow, uh, no bomb suit for this one, huh? I said, well, we had our helmets and vests on, and uh, so we went down and, and did our thing. Now, these guys have some sound advice. They say if you find any old munitions lying around, don't touch them. <laughs> Just immediately call police. And as with many departments across the state, the state police bomb squad is hiring.